Alright guys, so we had a little snafu with the video that I recorded over the weekend for you. I do apologize. Um, apparently I need to do smaller videos in order to upload them for you, so... We're gonna have to do them individually instead of several just, you know, the last little bits of the level. Like I was trying to do. Cause, um... Yeah. We need to try to keep them around an hour, not too much over. So this is Soul Sapped, um, my outlaw gnome rogue. As you can see, we've changed locations from the last time that we were on him. We are back in Borean Tundra, except this time we are on the mammoths up here in the corner near the airstrip. So there's the airstrip over there. We're up here in this corner. The mammoths that spawn up here are all neutral. And, um, as long as I don't do any AoE, I'm fine. Now, I do like grinding over in that walrus person village. It's great for money and cloth, like I had said before. However, I could not stop myself from pickpocketing them. And my bank was overflowing with the default, um one bag slot they give you or the main slot they give you uh, with lock boxes or junk boxes that I could not open and um, I just could not bring myself to stop doing it so because I was getting money from pickpocketing too but I've got nowhere to put these boxes and I could not bring myself to destroy them so I came over here and um, the level picked up a little bit because I could not take on everything in that village on this character. There were certain spots where if two um, two walrus, walrus guys, callus guys, however you pronounce their name, um, pulled at the same time, that was it. I was screwed. So I definitely want to pull one at a time and I'm good. And um, it's been working over here, oddly enough. And I've made a little bit of money, not a terrible amount, but a little bit, um, from vendor trash, so, you know, enough to cover the repairs at least. Plus I sold a couple of things on Auction House since we last talked about this character. I've been kind of wanting to look at subtlety a little bit, but I don't have two daggers, so... Don't know if I'm gonna try it this late in the game. I mean, it's an option. And switching specs is always an option. I just don't know if I'm going to. I mean, maybe if it was a little bit lower and I didn't mind starting over, I'd consider it a little bit better. But right now I'm really on the fence about it. I mean, I was looking at it and, you know, just. I feel really limited in weapon choices when I can only use daggers. At least with Outlaw, I don't have to have a dagger. Um, right now, I don't even know what the hell I'm using right now. I think I'm using two maces or an axe and a mace. An axe and a mace. So I mean that way, I mean yeah that has intellect on it, but it has nine agility so I'm using it. Can't be too choosy when you're going with what drops. now. Using only what drops is not part of the core rules, that's just my personal set of rules because things are expensive on my server sometimes, like stupidly expensive, so. I've been taking what I can get. The only time I think I've bought something is when I was really desperate for a shield. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I didn't have much of a choice because one just was not dropping. But I believe that was on a different character. And I might have bought it from a vendor. It might not have even been from Auction House. I can't remember. But, you know, you do what you can. To get by here. And, um, the next video that comes out will probably be either the Death Knight or the Demon Hunter. Because they haven't gotten a whole lot of love lately. But, you know, we'll see what my schedule looks like. 
and what I've got time for. So I am a little bit busier now than I was before. And again, yes, I am sorry about the video snafu over the weekend. Uh, trust me, I was kind of pissed when it didn't fully upload, but... If I had waited it out, it probably would have, but I can't do anything when the video is uploading right now. Which is why I can't stream. So... I did not want to spend another 24 hours locked into not being able to do anything at all. So I just made the decision to not upload it. And the way I had phrased things on that video kind of wasn't able to really use it because I had set it up for another character to come in. I mean, I could have taken out the audio and voiced over the entire thing, but let's face it, I hate to edit and that's just way too much editing for me. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Especially because I was going off on some tangent or another and I have no idea what the hell I was talking about now. Alrighty. So, um, you'll see me hitting this red thing pretty constantly. Um, it's, it's a rogue spell. I know it looks like a healing potion. Um, it's part of the rogue spell book, Crystal Vial. And since it's part of our spell book, we are allowed to use it. Just like warlocks are allowed to use their cookies. So it's technically not an outside healing potion, but it does heal me. And it just saves me from going through that much food. So I do have food. I do. I finally burned through what nether weave bandages I had left. I'm kind of sad I'm not over in the village getting more um, more cloth. But at the same time, I really want to wait to head back over there until I can open those stupid boxes. But, I mean, it's pretty good over here. These guys are respawning at a pretty good rate. I really haven't had to stand around and wait for anybody to um, show back up. So that's been good. In fact, they've been respawning so well that I keep losing what herd I'm actually working on because I get distracted. I'm like, oh, there's some over there. So, I mean, if I just don't know if I'm just not killing them that fast or what the deal is, but whatever the case may be, it is working for us thus far. I messed that up. But we should still be okay. And the nice thing about this crystal vial is that, um,. The cooldown will keep going while you're in combat. It doesn't wait till you're out of combat. So that is rather helpful. Now I have picked up a few greens on this one. Nothing major. Um, nothing that I could really wear. I saw one thing that I was like, hmm, maybe, but the stats weren't... 100% where I wanted them to be. So I was like, yeah, I guess we'll end up selling it. But, you know, so far it's it's been okay. It's been slow. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a little slow on this one. Um, not as ungodly slow as the Warlock was over the weekend, but still slow. Um... I think I am up into over five hours on this level, which is a little, um, I don't know if daunting is the word I want, but it, it's, it definitely lets me know I'm in for a longer haul on this one. And the Warlock, the Warlock I am not happy with right now. 
I keep hoping that, you know, as time is going to go on, she's going to get a little bit better. Maybe it was just that particular level that was so obnoxious. I don't know. But, um... It could have been where I was, too. Because her level just took so dang long. Why are they all bunched up on top of each other? Is it because there's a pet battle going on? This is weird. Could be the pet battle. Could definitely be the pet battle's got them not being able to walk in their normal pattern. Level 76. You know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not gonna give up on the warlock just yet. I mean, I've come this far on her. She just hit 71. Let, let's keep it going as long as we can... We can stand it here. I'm hoping that it was just that level. Or it was where I was, because there was a lot of time in between kills where she was at. Because I had to do quite a bit of searching for mobs at one time or another. So, you know, we'll see. I tried playing around with the other specs, but wasn't really happy with them. Felt a little too squishified, so... Now we'll figure it out. Because don't forget, if you're just not liking a spec, you can switch. Switch as many times as you want until you can find a, a spec that works for you for certain fights and not all characters are going to be able to level in the same spot. It's going to depend on your playstyle and sometimes the class itself because my warlock was not doing well in this spot. I had the voidwalker out and he was just inviting all of the herds to the party which almost turned into a huge disaster for me so we had to we had to move on from this location for for her. I could not stay here. It was very bad. I mean, I tried to tough it out for a little bit, but then I moved on down that way, where I had a little bit more breathing room and it was better. Oh, wow, we were actually waiting for somebody to respawn. This is different. Oh no, there's some. We just didn't see them. They were outside the viewing range. Or they just popped up. Either is possible. So last night it took me about um, maybe 45 minutes to get about 20% on this one. And that was with me being slightly distracted. So we're gonna see how long this takes. I mean, we've already gotten 5% in and it's been about uh, almost 15 minutes, just under. So, I mean, that's not so bad. That's actually a little bit faster than I was expecting, but I'm also a little bit more focused right now. But, um... There's not usually many people that come over in this corner unless they're, you know, heading over to there or they're doing this gnome quest down in the water. And even then, they don't usually come up here. Like, in this exact spot, unless, you know, they're looking for something specific or, you know, pet battling. So, I don't really have to, um, fight for, for kills up here. There's not usually anybody up here to fight them for. So that's one good thing about being up in this isolated corner here. Although last night, I will say, I did have somebody fly overhead, and I don't know what they were doing, but they were hovering over top of me for a minute, and I was like, what are you doing? They had me nervous for a minute. I don't know if they were trying to figure out what I was doing, or what, and then I thought, oh, well, maybe they're going to come down and farm, and uh, farm the leather and skin, but they never did, and the next thing I knew, they were gone, so I don't know what was up with that. A little weird. 
I will say. It unnerved me for a few minutes. I was like, what is this person's deal? Because they didn't say anything to me, but I don't know if they were Horde or Alliance. I want to say they had to have been Alliance, but that might not necessarily be the case. Alright, we just picked up a green. What do we get? Cloth. Boo. Need leather, damn it. Leather. Okay. But, I mean, all in all, this spec has been interesting. And, you know, we're toughing it out. Now, Bloodthirsties can transmog because they can wear green gear. And I should be... Yes, I am in full greens. So, the next time I head to town that has a transmog person in it, I might see if I have everything for a transmog I put together for this one because it was really cute. And um, it made him look like a little ship captain. But I don't know if I have all of the pieces to it. I might be missing the weapon, actually. Because I usually just dig through the appearance tabs and I'm like, oh, this is a really cute outfit. And then I try to go farm the pieces, so... Sometimes it works, and sometimes I'm sorely disappointed by finding out that, you know, oh, these are like green world drops. Good luck getting them. And I'm like, thanks so much. So then it's either back to the drawing board, or I am constantly searching auction house to see if there's something I can afford. Alright, my health's getting a little bit lower than I want it to be. Alright, we are actually going to sit down and eat for a second here. It's like 20 stacks of, or 20 of these, not 20 stacks of, but 20 of these is, you know, like, two gold and some change. And the misshapen foot. So, I mean, you do get a little bit of vendor trash, especially when you get, like, the gray weapons and stuff to drop off of these guys. So there is definitely the opportunity for some kind of money to be made over here to a degree all right so we are moving along here Backing up like they're gonna attack me. It's too far away. Alright. Now I probably could be in a different spot, you know, killing humanoids and all, but then you know we have the lockbox situation again, so just trying to chill out up here. Make sure I stay away from any of those Dita people while I've got my blood-soaked clothing. You know, we don't want to piss them off, because that will not end well for us at all. Not at all. Alright. So, I hope you guys are doing okay, since I haven't really been able to check in with you too much. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to upload these to Twitch and YouTube. We'll see how it goes. And so if you don't see anything on the Twitch channel for a while, don't forget to check the YouTube channel. Just search Nisi BGN. It might say meet my totem in the, in the URL. That's fine. It's still me. That was the old name on the channel. Um, there's not much I can do about that because it is an old channel that I was using. But it should still... Searching BGN should bring it up. 
Now, the failed download was me trying to upload to Twitch. Now, I don't know if it's just slower uploading to Twitch or if it was, in fact, the size of the file, but we'll see what happens with this one's upload. And hopefully it was just simply nothing other than the size. Because I miss hanging out with you guys. Just, you know, the videos coming out might be a touch slower. Because I have to get them up to... Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to get them to the point where I have them ready for uh, recording. And everybody's a lot higher level now than when we first started out, so... It takes longer to get them to the point where I can record them. So I have no idea how long the paladin's gonna take to get her video out, but... I think up next is going to be um, either the Demon Hunter or the Death Knight. Maybe the Death Knight. We really haven't visited her in quite some time. She's still out in Zanger Marsh. I might leave her there for the time being. But you know, we'll see. As with all things, we shall see what I end up doing with her. I haven't fully made up my mind yet. Probably because she's Horde and I'm just- I don't know Horde that well. That was a lockbox. <gasps> and we can't open it. Fantabulous. That was like an actual lockbox, not a goofy junk box. Probably sit on that one for a while because I've got so many lockboxes in my bank alts bank. It's ridiculous. Alright, now we're actually going to eat on this one because that's a little bit lower than I necessarily want to be. And thank you, Loud Truck. As you can see, the loud traffic hasn't changed. So there is one constant for us. That isn't always will be. And I just realized my buddy wasn't out. How about that? I wonder how long he had been missing. I am not entirely sure. He's so small that sometimes I don't realize he's not there. Which is terrible since he's one of my good luck charms. But we've been doing okay. Sorry, the cat was attacking the window and I have no idea why. Cats are goofy today. I don't know what's going on. One was attacking a gallon jug of water that was sitting on the bathroom floor. Um, this one's attacking the window. Yeah, I have no idea what... What is the problem today? Maybe it's the weather. We're under a high wind warning today. Talking about gusts this afternoon up to 50 miles an hour. That is crazy. Considering the sun's out. Like, what is this? And we still have not really had any significant snow this winter. And winter's almost over. Like, I think we might have had maybe two inches total all winter. And that's a really big maybe. But I guess on the plus side, at least we didn't have too much ice. Because that's a bigger problem than snow. I mean, we had a little bit of freezing rain, but we didn't have like an actual full-on ice storm, so. So that is all good. Alright. I mean, these little calves, they they pack a punch little bit. It's like I feel like if I mess up my rotation just a touch, then um, 
I might get kind of screwed in the health department for a little bit. Or at least that's what it seems like. Come on, there we go. Now, um, I do have the Traveler's Tundra mount. This guy, the vendor mammoth. He has food on him. And he has food that I can eat at level 63, so there's actually food on there starting at level 55 now. I'm not sure if that's the way it always was, but um, I've noticed that there is level 55 food on there that I can access. So I have been using that when I start to get low so I don't have to haul off back to town or have like 50 stacks of food on me to get me through the level. So. If you have the vendor mount, keep that in mind. That one of the vendors on there will sell you food. And drink, also. I know these mammoths aren't the most uh, exciting thing to watch me kill here, but... You know, it's... It's a safe kill for the most part. I mean, we have gotten a little bit low, but it's what I would consider a safe kill. Alright. Bag space is good. Come back here, Mr. Elephant. Mammoth, whatever you are. Don't want to lose the proc there. Hard to turn down a free, uh, what is that, pistol shot? Yeah. You don't want to lose a free pistol shot. That would be terribly tragic. Cause, you know, I don't want to... to use an extra 40 energy that I don't have to. Now you... Getting a little, little extra excitable there. And it's funny, this last 15% went a lot faster than I was expecting to. Because look at that, we're up to 97%. But then again, it's 15% and not 20, so, I mean, if we added in that extra 5%, it probably would be another 15 minutes on that, so, yeah, I guess that's about right. Alright, so we'll get this little guy here. We've got about 10,000 XP roughly to go. See, the one thing that sucks about the crystal vial is you have to be careful when you use it because it does take energy. It costs 30 energy to drink it. So, I mean, that's the one downside to it. So it's like, do I want a crystal vial or do I want to attack something? My mouse starts acting stupid. Thank you, Mr. Mouse. It's not what I want to see right now. Why is the mouse being stupid? Oh, that's why. Because we've got hair in the mouse, apparently, again. The story of my life. Let's see, did I get it out? Maybe? Maybe. Okay. Alright, so... Seems to be moving a little bit better now, anyhow, at the very least. So, moving on. Pick our next target here. Oh! Okay, that one... 
died really quick. Okay. Fortunately, we didn't get to use that pistol shot. Much sadness about that one. Alright. And back into stealth mode. Now, I don't have to really be stealth, but if I want to cheap shot these guys, I do. And, um, cheap shot stuns them for a minute. Let's me get in a little bit more damage before they decide to turn around and start smacking the crap out of me. So, I mean, you know, any couple extra seconds I can get where there's no damage incoming, I'm gonna take. Just to, uh, save myself some trouble later on. Like we need. I oh, will just pistol shot you to get you down all the way. Alright, so look at that. We're at 99% already, guys. And that took no time at all, really. Although, in reality, it did take about the same amount of time that the last 20% did. You know, all things considered. Alright. So let's see if I can... Health's are really slow to come up out of combat. Like super slow it feels like. Alright, so let's do that, and we'll do that. And there's that. Okay. So we've got about 4,000 XP to go here. So let's see how many mobs that's going to take. So there's mob number one. Alright, let's see how we can get through that. Let's do our heal. So like I said, that's mob number one. Mob number two incoming. I want to say maybe five. But I'm just not sure. Another pair of plate gray gloves again. Sorry, so that's not mob number two. Okay, here is mob number three. Well, actually, no, it's gonna be more than that. I think. Well, let's see. This is mob number three. Let's have a snack here real quick. So this will be mob number four. And, hmm. So it's definitely going to be more than four. So actually it might end up being six. So this will be mob number five. It depends on how much we get from this one. Yep, it's going to be six mobs. So this one should ding us here. Okay. Come on. 
Oh, we might want to pop that. This one's being a little rambunctious. There we go, and there's our ding. We are 64, you guys. And unfortunately, our photo is going to be red today. But that's okay. Oh, wrong set of keys that I just hit there. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and start the hearth. And we'll get our slash plane. So that 15% took about 35 minutes, 36 minutes, something about that. Oh, we're out here. That's right. I forgot. This is where our hearthstone was. That's okay, though. We have flight points. Alright, so. This is Bloodthirsty Soul Sap. Outlaw Rogue. Dings 64. And we have a slash blade of four days. Six hours, 48 minutes, and 35 seconds. Our total kills thus far on this particular little guy is 8,188. All right. So we're going to send that along to Twitter. And let's... Still can't unlock these guys, so we've still got a ways to go. I might not be able to unlock them until level 70, which makes me sad. I don't know why it let me pickpocket them if I can't unlock them yet. That's a little bit angering to say the least. Right, can I unlock that yet? No, I can't unlock that either. I probably can't unlock that till 70 either. Alright. Alright you guys, so that's going to be it for this video. And um, I'll try to get another one up as soon as I can, though it might be another day or two. So, take care, level safely. As always, you can get me on Twitter, at NisiBGN. Feel free to follow that, and you can also get me on the WoW Challenges Discord. And I am just Nisi over there without the BGN. So you all have a great day, continue onward in your challenges, and be safe out there.